Hi, um, another quick e-liquid review. This one is by Vapor Crew. It's called The Godfather. I went into a local vape shop today wanting to get um, some Heisenberg, um, but it doesn't vape very well on the suburb tanks, and that's um, exclusively what I use these days. So they suggested I go for this, which is meant to be the sub ohm equivalent. So it's Vapor Crew, it's called the Godfather. I got on my Atlantis V2 tank with a 0.5 ohm coil. I'm vaping it at 27 and a half watts. Um, I don't know if you can see it uh, upside down. No, it's not good. Sorry, my camera's not good enough. But yes, that's what it is. So, yeah. The flavor is really, really nice. It's it's refreshing. It's cool. It's crisp. Um, very Moorish. Um, liquid is a very cool blue color. So it, it looks nice as well. Um, it's an 80-20 VGPG split, um, 3 milligrams. I've got my open vents on the drip tip closed. Um, bottom one's fully open. And as I said, yeah, I'm vaping at 27 and a half watts. And I'm enjoying it. So I would recommend this juice for anyone after a fresh, minty, type of vape definitely one you can go for all day um, I really like my custard so this is not going to be a regular in my tank but it's going to be nice to have to mix it up every once in a while I'm sure you can see it clouds really well, as you'd expect from something that's got 80% VG. I don't think that should come as too much as a surprise. But once again, brilliant tanks, these Aspire ones. Um, very nearly water rebuildable atomizer jobby RDA. But do you know what? I can't be asked with all the building coils and wicking and dripping. It's too much hard work. I like an easy life. So think considering how well they make tanks these days why should I change this works